Okay, on this problem, we're given a cost function, C of X, which is equal to 28X plus 11,700. And we're given a revenue function, which is 39X. Um, we're asked to find the profit function. So one thing to recall is the profit function is just all the money coming in. We refer to that as revenue minus all the money that we're spending that's going out. We refer to that as cost. Okay, so that's R of X minus C of X. R of X we can represent with 39X minus C of X we can plug in 28X plus 11,700. Now here's where everyone makes their mistake at on setting up these profit functions is we forget that you're supposed to subtract off the entire cost function. So you'll notice that I put it in a set of parentheses. So I'd remember that this negative or negative one sitting out in front needs to be distributed to both of these terms on the inside, both terms in the cost function. Okay, so as we distribute that, we'll get 39X minus 28X minus 11,700, which works out to be 39X minus 28Xs makes 11Xs minus 11,700, and that's gonna represent our profit function. Okay, so now we wanna know what's going to be the slope of this profit function. Well, this is a linear uh, function, which kind of corresponds with a line, y equals mx plus b, the slope intercept form of a line. So you may notice that b, that would be our y intercept, would be the negative 11,700, but we're asked about the slope. m, as you'll recall, represents our slope. So it's the coefficient out in front of the x. So it's gonna be 11. Or in our case, we can say that's $11 because of the real life implications on this. Um, so what's the marginal profit? Well, the marginal profit is going to be the same thing as the slope of the tangent line to this curve. And the slope of this curve is $11. So the marginal profit is also gonna be $11. Anyway, I hope this helps clear up a few of the uh, misunderstandings misunderstandings about this type of problem. Um, good luck to you.